Hey YouTube, it's IC1. Welcome to the 61st episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. To start off, I wanted to talk about iOS 5.0.1. It was officially released to the public yesterday, and basically it fixes a couple of bugs that were directly affecting the battery life. It also improves voice recognition for Australian users. It fixes a bug that's related to storing documents in iCloud, and it brings multitasking gestures to the original iPad. Now I want to talk about the iOS 5 and 5.0. 0.1 untethered jailbreak. So basically to reiterate what I've been saying these past couple of days and what I actually made a video on yesterday, basically there will not be an untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1 at first. They're going to release an iOS 5 untethered jailbreak and then after that there will be an iOS 5.0.1 jailbreak eventually. And basically the reason behind that is because the bug that Charlie Miller discovered that's related to a code signing flaw has been passed in 5.0.1 and basically that bug will dramatically decrease the amount of time that's required to actually create the untethered jailbreak. So again, while there will be an untethered jailbreak for 5.0.1 eventually, there will be a jailbreak for iOS 5 first. And basically that means do not update if you want a jailbreak because I'm sure as most of you already know at this point, iOS 5 doesn't work the same way as previous firmwares in the sense that you used to be able to downgrade simply by having your SHSH files backed up. Again, that does not work anymore. So you cannot downgrade from iOS 5.0.1 to iOS 5. And if you're on a lower firmware such as 4.3.3, you cannot upgrade to 5.0 because again, Apple is not signing 5.0, they're just signing 5.0.1 now, and basically your opportunity to get to iOS 5 has been closed if you're on 4.3.3, for instance. So I just wanted to talk about that and get that out there. Also, if you want some more information on that, I will have a post as well as a video linked down below in the more info that goes into depth on that and describes it. And it also gives a demonstration of updating from iOS 5 to iOS 5.0.1 using iOS 5's new over the air update feature. And speaking of that code signing bug that Charlie Miller discovered, I just wanted to go over it really quick. So basically it is a bug that allows applications to download unauthorized additions to themselves by passing the app store, which then allows the application to basically do whatever the programmer has it set to do. So basically what could happen is an application could go up to the app store, get approved, someone could download that application, and then the first time they open the application, a shell on the attacker's system is opened, and basically the application can download additions to itself, and the attacker can gain access to your device, and they can basically launch different applications and control your device, as well as gain access to all of the data that's on your device. So it is definitely a major security flaw, but luckily Apple patched it in iOS 5.0.1. But again, I cannot stress this enough. If you want to jailbreak sooner rather than later, do not upgrade to iOS 5.0.1, even though it is more secure. Just make sure you always download applications from known sources and good applications that have a high reputation. Also, the Jawbone Up Band was released just the other day. And basically what it is, is a bracelet that you wear around your wrist and it keeps track of how many steps you take, how many calories you've burned, different workouts that you've done. It also monitors your sleep and can wake you up at the precise moment in your sleep cycle. And if you choose to participate, you can take pictures of your food and it will ask you how you feel a couple hours after eating that food. So you can kind of determine what food makes you feel the best and what food makes you perform the best. It also can provide reminders for when you're inactive for a certain period of time. And overall, I think it is really great. It's $100 and it's extremely accurate. However, the only downside is that mine actually broke. So unfortunately mine became unresponsive and it was displaying a series of different colored lights. And if that happens to you or if yours breaks for any reason, then the good news is you can call Jawbone and they'll send you out another one via next day air shipping. Now I still haven't received mine yet, but again, I'm looking forward to getting my new Jawbone up band replacement and then maybe I'll do a full review on it. So again, that's why I haven't had the time to do our review because I did an unboxing for it but I couldn't do the review because again, mine broke. So overall, I think it's a great product and definitely something you should get if maybe you're looking into something that can monitor your workouts, especially if you're looking at one of the Nike bracelets, because I know for a fact it's better than those. Also, a new application hit the App Store the other day. It's called Apps Gone Free, and it's updated daily with new applications that have recently gone free. So basically what that means is it was once a paid application and now it's free to download, and it has a list that you can access, and it also gives you information such as the description, screenshots, 
of it, the rating, and you can even open it up in the app store from within inside that app itself and then download that application. So it's really great and it's definitely good if you like to get free applications. Also, there was an iOS 5 folder glitch that was discovered a while back and basically what you can do is you can add folders inside of folders and you can keep adding applications inside of folders and then folders inside of folders until you only have one folder on your springboard and Adam from Tech Tech Man TV actually did a video on it and he reported on it on my website. I'll have a link to that down below and he also did a video showing how to enable the secret panorama mode from within inside iOS 5's native camera app and I recommend you guys check that out and also make sure to go subscribe to Adam. He does some really great videos. I'll have a link to his channel as well as everything else I've talked about in today's episode down below in the more info. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated more often and don't forget that you can enter my All Things Apple giveaway in this video simply by rating it up, favoriting it, and leaving a comment down below in the comment section with the phrase all Things Apple Giveaway. If you're unaware of my All Things Apple Giveaway or you don't know what's required to actually enter, again, I will have a video below that describes everything you need to know about the All Things Apple Giveaway. And I will also have links to my Facebook fan page and Twitter accounts down below. Be sure to like my Facebook fan page and follow my Twitter accounts to be updated more often. And I'll see you guys in Friday's episode. Until then, this is ICU signing out.